walking on walls, spider webs that are stronger than steel? Spider-Man does not have the market on this. Scientists are making this a reality in the lab. Hi, my name is Anissa Ramirez. Welcome to Science Explained and to a special edition on Spider-Man. Now, in the 1960s, when Stan Lee created Spider-Man, it was all science fiction. But now, it is science fact. We're starting to learn how to make spider webs in the lab, and we can also figure out how to walk on walls. So what exactly are spider webs? Spider webs are made out of polymers. Polymers are all over the place. We have them in backpacks, seat belts, carpets. They're actually in rubber bands as well. Polymers are long chain molecules. You can think of them as a plate of spaghetti or a bunch of strings. Now, when you have a polymer, it's very, very strong along the length. There's strong bonds within the polymer, but there's weak bonds between the polymers, so they can easily be broken. That's why spider webs are as strong as steel, pound for pound, in one direction, but can easily be broken in another direction. So where can we use these spider web materials? Well, we can use them to make bulletproof clothing and also parachutes. Spider webs really rock. Now, what else can we learn from Spider-Man? I don't know, how about to walk on walls? Spiders walk on walls. How do they do this? They do this with van der Waals force. You see, at the bottom of their feet are small hairs that attract the molecules of, of the wall. More surface, more opportunities for that attraction to occur. Geckos do the same thing. So you see, spiders are not scary. They're our friends. And by learning what they do, we can be superhuman. But we have to follow the advice of Stan Lee. With great power comes great responsibility. I'm Anissa Ramirez. Thanks for joining me at Science Explained. And I hope that you'll come back for another edition.